Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks so much for tuning in to this 20 minute beginner yoga series. You don't need anything but your yoga mat to get started. So one thing to know about yoga is that you don't need to be good at it in order to benefit from it. Please remember that because it's so easy to get frustrated with yourself. I'm sharing this class with you so that you can find an accessible and easy entry into a practice that will change your life. So come to a comfortable seated position, close your eyes and we'll initiate the space of practice with the sound OM. A long deep inhale. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. The essence of the yoga practice is really deep breathing. So let's start off with really deep breathing. Place the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth behind your two front teeth. And let's take five deep breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Resonate your breath so you can hear the breath coming in and out of the body. Then again, inhale. And exhale. Very good. Feel your nervous system calming down. Do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Find the bottom of your breath out. We've got two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Nice and easy. If you do nothing else other than take these five deep breaths today, you will have done a lot to help your nervous system calm down. And entering into that calm space is the essence of the whole yoga journey. So let's go on over onto our hands and knees. We're gonna do what's called tabletop position. So I want you to make your hands shoulder width apart and line up your knees hips width apart. Now, let's just get comfortable being on the hands and knees and just kind of feel your weight and your fingertips, root down through the heels of the hands and maybe just wiggle your pelvis from side to side so that you can feel weight in the knees. Try to keep the spine in a neutral position for tabletop. And we'll just hold this for about five breaths. One, two, just get comfortable on the hands and knees, drawing the navel in. Three. <clears throat> Remember, deep, steady breathing. Relax your neck. Four. Almost there. Five. Okay, let's draw the knees in towards each other and we're gonna move into child's pose. So sink your pelvis back onto the feet and then draw your hands near your feet and roll the shoulders forward. And dropping your forehead towards the ground. Child's pose is one of the most therapeutic postures, so just give yourself a chance to release, relax, remember deep breathing. Let every breath be rooted into the pelvic floor. Every breath be guided by the sensitivity that you're developing to feel the body. Now let's inhale, lift the head up and come back to your tabletop position. Open the knees to about hips width apart again, tabletop position. Now we're gonna roll through the movements called cat and cow. This brings energy up and down the spine and we'll roll through spinal extension and spinal flexion. So inhale as you arch your spine, lifting the head up and lifting the sitting bones up. And then exhale as you round the back, tuck the tailbone and look at the pubic bone. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale as you extend the spine. Exhale as you round the back and pull it under. Inhale and extend the spine. Exhale, round the back, pull it under. 
Let's do it one more time. Inhale, extend the spine nice and easy. Exhale, round all the way under. Now let's start to work a posture called puppy pose. So return to tabletop position. Walk your knees a little bit back and then walk your hands slightly forward and closer towards each other. Rotate your shoulders away from the spine while you press into the knuckles of the index fingers. Then exhale, drop your head, forehead, top of the forehead to the ground. Come up onto your fingertips and roll the shoulders away from the spine. Now remember your deep breathing. This is the first kind of uncomfortable yoga pose that we're doing. So let yourself tune into that discomfort. Remember, you don't have to be good at this. You just have to stay here and breathe. One, two, three, keep breathing. Four, we're almost there. Five, okay, let's flatten the hands, lift your head up off the ground and lie down on your stomach. Now, press into your elbows and inhale, lift the ribs away from the pelvis. This is called Cobra Pose. Stack the elbows in front of the shoulders and roll your thighs towards each other. Lift the spine up and point the toes and lift the kneecaps off the ground. Watch your head. Don't tip your head back, but just keep head in line with the spine. Stay for five breaths. One, deep, steady breathing. You could close the eyes for a moment. Two, calming the mind. Three, four, nice and easy. Five, okay, soften down. Curl your toes under. Let's come on back to tabletop position. Shake it out for a moment. Give a little shake from side to side. Now we're going to do the downward facing dog pose. All right. So your hands are going to stay shoulder width apart. Just pull the elbows in towards each other and rotate the shoulder blades down the back. Then connecting into your pelvic floor. So feel where your hips are. And we're going to send the hips back and up. So inhale, hips back and up. Then slowly straighten the legs. If your legs don't straighten, don't worry, just do the best you can. You could stay with the knees bent a little bit and thinking about the hips moving back and up, which will eventually move you into straightening the legs. Let's stay in downward dog for five breaths. One, deep breathing. Two. Again, if you need the knees bent, you can bend the knees. It's all good. Three. Keep trying to draw the navel in and regulate your breath. Four, nice and easy. Five, let's switch your gaze slightly forward. We're gonna walk half the distance in. So just take it easy and just walk in. Keep your feet hips width apart and then come onto your fingertips. Give me a soft bend in your knees. Hold on to your elbows and now we'll do a hanging forward fold. Lift the hips back and up. And just rest your head on your forearms and just hang out here for a few breaths. And drawing the navel in and allow your spine to elongate out of the pelvis. We'll stay here for five breaths. One, notice what you feel. Remember, you don't need to be good at this. Just let yourself breathe and feel the body. Two, Nice and easy, nice and easy. You need to bend the knees, you can bend the knees and then straighten again. Three, four, nice and easy. Five, release hands, bend the knees, hold on to your big toes. Grab hold of the big toes and we'll do that standing forward fold. So again, straighten the legs and the arms as much as possible as you lift the head up. And then exhale, fold, relaxing the head down. If you need to bend the knees just to be here, you can do that and we'll stay for five breaths. One, roll the shoulders back, elbows back, avoid winging out the arms, keep them in. Relax neck. Two, straighten as much as you can. Three, nice and easy. Four, almost there. Five, okay, inhale, let's lift the head up. 
exhale there you might feel better with a little bend in the knees and inhale come all the way up slowly bring your feet together now let's work a balancing pose so for the balancing pose we're going to do what's called tree pose if you feel like your balance is a little challenged you can go up close to a wall and just gently touch the wall sometimes if you're standing on a yoga mat the ground can feel a little less balanced so maybe you want to come off your mat particularly if you have a hard floor so if you have a hard floor then externally rotate the hip joint moving through your external rotation draw the navel into the body keeping the mind nice and calm finding that external rotation as the navel really draws in hands in prayer and this is the easiest version of tree pose because you have a planted tree your toes rest on the ground you can glide up just a little bit if you find that comfortable if not that's okay you can leave your feet just steadily pressed on the ground a little bit more balance slowly come all the way up to tree pose and this is the most advanced version of tree pose so you might not get there today just find what version of tree works for you and let's get that right hip joint externally rotating in the hands in prayer nice and easy five breaths one two keep breathing keep feeling three if you lose your balance it's okay remember go close to the wall take support from the wall four we're almost there five okay inhale raise your arms up like you're really lifting up in your tree one two nice and easy three keep working keep feeling four almost there keep breathing five hands in prayer exhale back to standing hands by your side good job okay let's try the other side so now rotate outward find your connection outward <laughs> looks like the leaves <laughs> got in from the garden there <laughs> so now we'll rotate the hip joint out a little bit and draw the navel in then again you can take support from the wall and you can stay here just take hands in prayer if balance is challenged for you this could be enough remember there's no competition in yoga we just work where we are or a little higher follow the movement in your hip joint and maybe you can come all the way up to the most advanced tree hands in prayer five breaths one deep steady breathing two find one point one point to look at try not to look around three keep working four straighten that leg as much as possible and five strong pelvic floor then inhale lift the arms one deep breathing two keep lifting lifting three almost there almost there four and five hands back to prayer all the way back to standing okay just shake that out for a moment let's come on back to the front of your yoga mat inhale raise your arms above the head exhale fold forward hands towards the ground maybe you need to bend the knees a little inhale lift the head up and then exhale bend your knees take the hands flat we're going to step back to plank pose press into your shoulders step back to plank we're going to hold plank for five breaths one how you doing two squeeze the glutes a little tighten your thighs three don't give up four widen the shoulders five sink your knees down now we go for chaturanga dandasana which is a push-up position so we're going to use the knees for support move your chest forward and then activate the core of the body bend the elbows come down now put the chest all the way on the floor okay remember cobra point the feet lift the knees come forward to cobra position long deep breath in long deep breath out good job okay upward facing dog let's walk your hands back to where the elbows are squeeze the elbows back in start to lift your chest a little then push through the feet push through the chest inhale upward facing lift your chest up off the ground exhale downward facing roll over the toes and step your feet in downward facing dog now nice and easy get stable in your down dog for a moment keep the mind calm 
and then exhale, sink your knees back to tabletop position. From tabletop position, cross your shin bones and exhale, sink back all the way down. Straighten your legs, sit down. Move your sitting bones out from underneath you and lift the center of the chest up. Flex the feet and we'll stay here for five breaths. One. Two, keep breathing, keep feeling, chest is lifting, four, nice and easy, stay with it, keep breathing, five. Now for the seated forward bend, just like we did from standing. If when you reach forward, you cannot hold your big toes, you can bend the knees a little and hold on to the big toes. Keep trying to keep the knees together. Inhale, long deep breath in, exhale, fold. Then slowly try to straighten the legs, pushing the heels away from the sitting bones and sitting bones away from the heels so you can keep eventually finding your way into your forward fold. All right, so we stay five breaths wherever you are. One. Of course, it's also fine to just stay upright and hold on to the shin bones. You have to find what works better for your body. That's one of the main lessons of the yoga practice. Two, stay with the breath. Three, you don't need to force it, just feel what you feel. Try to relax the back muscles. Four, almost there. Five, inhale, slowly lift your spine as you come up. Then scoot your butt forward and exhale, roll the spine down. So you roll the spine down. Now we're gonna do the simple bridge pose. So keeping the feet hips width apart, just gently feel the strength of the legs. Then hands go on the floor right near your feet. Maybe you can easily catch hold of your ankles. Then go ahead and do that. Slowly inhale as you lift the hips up. Then roll your elbows under. And if you're not holding your ankles, then interlock fingers and hips up. We're going to hold this for five breaths. One. Soften your butt muscles and press up with the pelvis. Two. Keep breathing, three, you're almost there, four, and five. Release hands, sink your hips to the ground, fold your thighs into your body, and give a little gentle roll and a gentle rock. And then slowly, quietly, hands to the ground, inhale, legs up for Viparita Karani. Now, what you might find is that you cannot just lift your legs up. If that's the case, go ahead and walk over to the wall and rest your feet up against the wall and take support from there. We're going to be here for about five breaths and you want it to be very relaxing. So if this position is not relaxing, head on over to the wall and go ahead and take support from the wall. Close the eyes, five breaths. One, two, long deep inhale. Long, deep exhale, three, feel your nervous system calming down, four, almost there, five, okay, let's open the eyes, and bend the knees and slowly sink them back down to the ground. Shake out the pelvis for a little bit. Let's walk the feet in. Extend your left leg and then bring the right knee up into the chest. Give it a little, just extra love. Okay. And then glide over into a reclining twist. Hold it there for a moment. See if you can just let the tension in the body release. What points of tightness are there? that you can let go of right now. Remember, you don't need to be good at the poses in order to benefit from the practice. Inhale, come on back into the center. Switch the legs. Give that left hip joint a little love. And exhale, roll over. Then reach the left arm. And feel everything. Releasing, relaxing. 
nice and easy. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, spread your arms and legs open into our final relaxation posture. And just give yourself a few moments of rest. Notice your breath, how the breath feels. Notice your body, how your body feels after a little bit of yoga practice. Notice the quality, the vibration around the mind and the emotions. And just rest for a few breaths. In this resting space, there's deep healing. So receive healing, renewal, rejuvenation. And then give yourself a long, deep inhale. Raise the arms and the legs. Give yourself a little stretch and wiggle. As you exhale, let's bend the knees into the chest. Roll over onto the side. Nice and easy for a moment. Come on back up to seated. Eyes closed. Bring attention to your heart space and hands in prayer. Exhale softly, open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. I hope you keep inspired to continue your journey in yoga. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining everyone. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you know when I'm going to go live. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Bye. Oh, you're loving my podcast. Thank you so much. That's another thing. I do have a podcast. If you don't listen to it, you should go listen to it. It's called Yoga Inspiration, and it's available everywhere where podcasts are. Okay, bye.